I had to fire the guy that mows my lawn. Okay, go ahead. He just couldn't cut it. Well, you don't have a lawn, so. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Rags to do this, of course. I'm Rick. I knew it was a joke. Yeah. Right off the bat. Thank and you. he falls on Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. 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 No, but if you were, oh, there's some words you could put them hoist. together. Yeah, if you were like, hoist is a sailor word. I feel like yeah. you have to hoist something when you're on a boat. And if it's raining yeah. and you got moist, while you were wearing a loin <clears throat> cloth and had to put ointment on your groin, you would be a moist hoister wearing a loin cloth with ointment on your groin. Gross. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> And it's our first of Classic Month. Welcome to Classic hey, Month. Hey, welcome to Classic Month. Happy also, a uh, little caveat. This is actually Patreon's January Hindi uh, winner of their um, movie poll. Uh, so every month on Patreon, regardless of the tier, you get to be part of a process of narrowing down movies, uh, a Hindi one and a regional one, any region, and then the poll to decide what we watch you get one a month, one from regional, one from Hindi. This was their Hindi one for January. And I know it's 1983, our, our cutoff was 1980. Right. So I kind of just grouped it in. That's all <laughs> and right. I was like, it's three years almost. So yeah. it's technically not the classics. All the other ones that we're reacting are mostly like 60s and 50s. But I think, I think this still yeah. could qualify. I think when I, people talk about and assume they put it, it probably in the classics, classics right? for sure. Yeah. Um, so just to let you know, this is classic month. We are only watching unless something new drops that we have to go, we have to watch. Uh, this is all going to be old movies for the and month if you of February. We've said it a hundred times. We're saying it a hundred and one times. It doesn't mean that February is the only month we're going to watch classic films <laughs> no, at all. But we were watching from a region, just so you know. This time we watched Masoon, the uh, 1984 film, Hindi film, uh, starring uh, who? Mister Din Shah. Who's that? Uh, it's this guy we saw in the Deborah movie. Yeah, yeah, he's the, I think that's his claim to fame. Yeah, that's the it. He, just, he did this in the Deborah De film. The Deborah film. And we said it, we called it. We were like, that guy looks like he needs some training, first of all. Uh, and probably with training would do, you know, get movies and films like To Whom 3. And it's also starring, say these other names. Uh, also starring Shabana Azmi and Jugal Han Hanaraj, right? And, yeah. And Umala. Matungur. Who we saw in Satya and I think something else. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, we saw her in Satya and I believe we've seen we her. did. Is yeah. that where we saw her before? Yeah, yeah we saw her in Satya. Uh, regardless, oh. uh, 1983. So it's obviously going to be a spoiler review, I'm assuming. Assuming you've ever Every seen classic it. we do is going to be a spoiler review because if you haven't seen it, that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. So, uh, Rick. Oh, sorry. It's directed by. Shakar Kapoor. Yeah. Yeah. Rick, you're on Okay, so I got a paragraph. Okay. Uh, a simple but strong story mm -hmm. with universal appeal about family, love, right and wrong, as well as the damage we do when we make mistakes and the importance of taking responsibility in order to try and redeem those mistakes. Yeah. Ably carried by two solid performances of our leading lady and man, as well as an adorable little boy who I thought was a child Rithik Roshan. I did too, Miss <laughs> For all of its flaws, is still a very good film worthy of being remembered for posterity and included in the echelons of India's cinematic history. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and this director, this was his directorial debut. Did not know that. <laughs> not bad. So I actually yeah, saw that. Even more forgivable. He was. He said, he said this is his first film. He never went to film school. He just did everything on instinct. Good grief. I didn't know that. Then, yeah. then any of the mistakes that I saw. Yeah are even more free. Yeah, and there, there are some mistakes. And, and it's also, with Classic Month, it's gonna be very difficult because it's very difficult to judge on the technical aspect a bunch of old films yeah. to the current standard. Even, and I'm glad we're talking about this at the outset of Classic Month and this review, because uh, you, we've got two things that we have to deal with. The one is you can't judge it by today's standards, number one. And you also can't judge Indian films of the past 
to Hollywood films of the same same time oh, yeah. frame. This is more 50s, 60s Hollywood than it right. is 80s Hollywood. Right, because, because India evolved um, behind uh, cinematically of, of Hollywood. Even the inception of their cinematic we've, industry. We've spent a lot came. on movies. For yeah, the exactly. So uh, I, I don't know when it was. I should look in the Bollywood book or maybe somebody knows when... India not only caught up, but is at the point of doing some stuff where we've noticed, wow, you're way ahead of Hollywood. Um, because it obviously happened before Gully Boy and Pink and all those films that we had seen that were our first introduction. But it's really important because I always do that. I'll watch a movie like this and I'll look at what was going on at the same time here. Mm -hmm. And this looks 25 years older than yeah. everything that was happening here. Yeah. Not a fair comparison. I believe all the classic films need to be compared with what's going on in the evolution of Indian cinema. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I did. I, I I actually really enjoyed this film. It's an incredibly sad story. Oh man, uh, we'll talk about that. Incredibly sad, but I thought that's one of my favorite parts about it is the fact that that's a touchy subject matter that you don't often see anywhere in the film. You, mm -hmm. It's like the the fact that you know they were married and they were very happily, very married. happily married. I think he might have even forgotten that he he had done this. Right. It's it's one of those things. I think that he had like it repressed it in his and his. I'm not I'm not saying anything that he I'm right. Excuse I'm not excusing him. No. what he did at all. No. Uh, but I think he even forgot that he had done it and then it brought up. Uh, but then because you've seen stories like. You know, somebody will at that time cheat on on a husband and wife. Or I thought it was actually pre marriage. I was right. like, I thought they uh, this it, was from a, a relationship before they got married. It's better for the story. It's worse for her. Oh. But it's better for the story that it's something that happened while they were getting married. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, because it's and it's incredibly difficult. And I I loved uh, I, I love seeing young Nasserdin Shah. He's he's always been just really good, really captivating. He's always, I think, cared about the craft mm -hmm. and believability. Yep. Because uh, he was never not believable in this. Uh, and then I, she did she a phenomenal job as well, even though I had issues with uh, some of the stuff she did. Um, as far as the character or the yeah, actress? Yeah, character. The character. Okay. Uh, not... <laughs> okay, here's what we'll get into it. She did a phenomenal job. Uh, and I... I would have actually been okay with her doing anything. Uh, like her response yeah. to it, like if she left him, I thought she would have been justified. If right. she would just wanted to be upset with him forever, she wanted to, you know, I would have been okay with anything. But taking it out on the child, I I get it, I get it, I do, I get that. Every single time you see that child, that you see your husband and another woman, like together, I totally understand that. But also, it's not the child's fault. Uh, so, like, I totally understand. I'm not saying you shouldn't be upset. I'm not saying you shouldn't, like, you sh you could have left him and I'd be like, good on you. Mm -hmm. I totally understand. It's just, you know, I think even my wife, she, I watched it with her and, and she totally agreed. She's like, look, I get it. I get what you're going through and you're justified. Right. But he didn't do that. Right, it's not the child's fault. Yeah, so, like, when she just let him, like, like, not take care of him when, when he was hurt or whenever she just left the room... Yeah, well, it's he, like take it out on him, he, like the the husband. He was Jon Snow in the House of Stark. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, yeah, and it is. It's it's on the one hand, you absolutely understand the vantage point of the wife looking at this constant reminder I of totally, her husband's yep. infidelity. Absolutely. Yet that doesn't give any justification to treat the innocent bystander yeah. as if they're the guilty party. But I thought they did a really good job because this is a, once again very touchy subject for a film. Yeah. And it's it's tough from the husband's perspective mm -hmm. because obviously I, he just kind of has to take it. He just you messed up, bro. Like, and you have no reason to be like you shouldn't be mad about this. Right? You shouldn't like like there was one point that which I thought was really good where he was like, "What should I do? Should I kill myself?" Mm -hmm. Which he, his frustration, even though I don't think that was justified, because. You can't really justify what you did. Right. At all. Right. <laughs> you you were in the wrong exactly. and you broke your oath it was to your wife. It was 100% wrong. Uh, and so, like, I get it, but I thought it was beautifully written. The way Me too. The, the, the whole interaction between the two. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad at the end they didn't kind of just kiss and make up. Mm -hmm. It was more of a, I accept this child. It was still a, it was a... I'm gonna do, she, she did the right thing and the hard thing yeah. and let him know. He's okay with me. We're not okay. We're not okay. This is gonna take time. Yeah. It's gonna be a struggle. Yeah. 
but I'm willing to fight through this. And I, t I did for too. him, right? Yeah. For him. So I'm glad she she finally got there with the child, even though I was like, I just I wish she wouldn't have pushed him away as much. Right. I mean, maybe not. Obviously, I'm not saying treat him like he's your your child right now. I get that. Yeah. But like treat him as a kid. Right. <laughs> Like just yeah. treat him as a kid. That was my that was my only issue with the way it was written. My wife actually thought he would. Um, she was like, my my issue with this is I feel like she's being made the villain, mm. and I didn't feel that way a lot of the times. I didn't feel that way. But I don't know. Maybe some other people uh, felt that way, um, as as my wife did. Uh, that they she thought that they were kind of making her more of the villain. No, you know, I th I thought if there was somebody that you could point to as an antagonist. What's really nice about the writing and the way the film is done is the antagonist is adultery. Yeah. There's no human in this story that's really the bad guy. Yeah. It's 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 the the trapping and the destructive nature of being unfaithful to somebody. Mm -hmm. And it it reminded me similarly I, I don't want there's a there's a film that has a similar topic matter without spoiling anything if you haven't seen fences with denzel washington mm. and viola <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. uh it's a comparable story about a family and a man and uh viola davis oscar viola davis course. won an oscar it well, was one of those that when you saw the film it was like give her her oscar yeah just give uh, it to her. but i loved I, one of my favorite scenes both in the writing and the execution because of the capacity of the actors was his confession, I actually started getting low level anxiety mm. for her, yeah. knowing what he's about to tell her and her whole world is about to come crashing down mm -hmm. and she did nothing to deserve it. Yeah. Those moments for me are very and they uh, were palpable. Such, they were such a happy couple. They yes. were like, they were, you're like, yes. this is such a beautiful family. And, and, and he as well, it wasn't, um, he liked the song we hear being sung over him that we reacted to. Yeah. I love that he was written in a serenade and portrayed him as a more complex Shakespearean character than just a stereotypical like dick who's like, well, I made a mistake, just forgive me. Yeah. He was like, I can't believe I did this. The very thing we wanted, a little boy together, I have, and I wish I could celebrate that blessing of having the son, but this is not the way it was supposed to happen. And yeah. he takes full responsibility for, yeah. what do I do? Did you also notice they flip the song later in the film yeah with a female voice for her same song but she's singing the very same song as she's coming around to the the acceptance of this little boy's not at fault yeah this little guy doesn't have a mommy yeah maybe somehow in some providential way there's a redeeming aspect of the fact that maybe maybe god somehow knew that I could be the mommy for this little boy even and work something to take a, a common phrase beauty for ashes to, to take something out of this tragedy and make something redemptive out of it which is what it does in the end that's why i think ultimately for all its technical flaws and other yeah. things pacing yeah it's it's a worthy really good kickoff absolutely to the, the and and the stuff you can ruined. the stuff you can you gripe on like right at the beginning some of the foley work was just terrible <laughs> Some like of the it, dubbing, I wrote that in here. It looked like it was like just was like so, didn't even try. No, like, doo, 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 doo. yeah, <laughs> I put that in here is forgivable technical things like choppiness of edits and sound and the dub sound and bad foley. Yeah, and as lovely as the main theme was for the broken-hearted little kid in the situation, if that theme started up another time, I was gonna like it. That it was a very melancholic, beautiful refrain. Yeah, but I could point was like here it comes. Yes. Okay, I don't need to hear that again. But again, I felt like everything in this from the director <coughs> was all with an intentionality to try and tell the story the best the best way they could. Yeah, yeah. And being a first time director, having no film school or oh. anything like that, I, I think he did a stupendous job. A great job. job for a new director. Uh, like, because a lot of the technical stuff you you learn. Yeah. You learn on the job. You learn. You learn as you you do more films, and um, I thought as just uh, the story was fantastic. Yeah, uh, one that you don't often see. I thought all the actors. I had a few. Uh, yeah, some, with the, some of the supporting the smaller people, people were not some, not not the best. No, uh, the little boy who I thought was Rithic for I'd actually look it up. I, was, I did too. Is this I'm like, is that Rithic Roshan? Those <laughs> eyes, man. Yeah, he. They look very I similar to children. Yep. Um, but he did a really good job, uh, and obviously the Sheridan Shaw and 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 the the woman. Yeah, she did really well. She was both beautiful mm -hmm. uh, on screen presence and really beautiful. Uh, 
working, you know, with Nasserit and just holding it. And her character was really very progressive in terms of the relationship that they had. This was an absolute home of what felt like equal between them. This wasn't some patriarchal overlording of her and demanding things. This was living in mutual admiration and respect for each other and trying to make things work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also liked the way they incorporated um, the their kids and the innocence of their eyes. And I think that was a big contributor for her character, really realizing, wow, it's not his fault. He's yeah. a little kid and I need to see him more the way my little girls do. Yeah. Especially the book when he's crossing, that was sad. All of his drawings of himself in the family and he just crosses them out. Oh, yeah. And there was a lot of obviously questionable stuff in terms of just these characters that I was like, I, one, just tell him you're, you're his dad. That's weird. Uh, I, like, why can't you tell him? Well, that? I, th I think because he didn't want the little girls to know yet, and he knew that yeah, he'd tell his daughters. Very strange to yeah. me. Uh, and then just sending him off to boarding school. Strange. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, I don't understand, but I get it. Yeah. Uh, but I did really appreciate the um, the whole r dynamic of taking this happy family and the symbolicness at the beginning of the family photo breaking. Yeah, and then good point. The family, he said, he's like, my family is breaking. Good point. Right now because yeah. of what he did at the yeah. beginning. Like when I, because I, at first, I thought it was premarital. So I thought, me too. This was like a, way and I think that's I what they wanted you to believe is that this was before, but also, I guess, this, he had a daughter that was older than this kid, so that kind of. Well, and it does, it just, from a, from a, uh, While his wife was bringing yeah, from a from a, <laughs> from a from a dramaturgical point of view, which is the proper creation of a story that's compelling and has good conflict, and you want to raise the stakes as a terminology that's used, it's much more interesting, compelling, and problematic for him to have done this while he's married than before, because it puts the wife in a position of much more difficult capacity to be forgiving, mm -hmm. and it puts him in a much more severe place of self-deprecating, beating himself up, and it makes it just harder to get yeah. past. Much harder. But yeah, I thought uh, I thought it did a, a really good job. Um, I'm really excited for Classic Month. I am too. Uh, once again, most of all the other ones are, I think I just, I, I mapped it out in fifties and sixties are most of the other ones. Okay, cool. So we're going to get some, we're going to get some old ones, but some ones that oldies, but goodies, old as gold that are classics. Yeah. Like when you think of Indian cinema, these are the, the classics that we're trying to get to. We know there's a ton. We won't be able to get to all of them, obviously, um, but we're going to try to get to a lot of them. So uh, let us know what's the next classic and the Saradin Shah. Mm -hmm. uh, love, obviously we love him. And I'd love if they've worked together, I'd love to watch them work. I'd love to watch more of her work. Uh, I thought that she she was surprising in terms of somebody that I didn't really have any recognition for. I didn't recognize her from Satya. Mm -hmm. And I felt that her screen presence was beautiful. No, and no, no, her, this is not the wife. Oh, who this, were you referring to earlier? This is that, this is what I was referring to earlier, but this is the friend that uh, got back together. Oh, with the, the friend. Okay, the friend was from Satya. Yeah. That, oh, that makes sense. sense. So this, She is yeah. not from Satya. Okay, I didn't think I'd seen her no, before. No, 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 yeah, but I, I'd like to see more of her yeah, work. Yeah, absolutely. So let us know uh, what's the next film we should watch down below. <laughs>